Hey everyone, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. So I'm a bit congested today, <laughs> but I wanted to film this video because it's just something that I think could be helpful to help you understand more about the aspects. I have videos on the square and the opposition, so just to kind of complete it, I'm going to talk about the conjunction today. And hopefully this will help you understand conjunctions in your chart. So conjunctions, the metaphor or analogy that I would use to kind of help you visualize a conjunction and what it's doing is if you take two separate liquids and you combine them together into one cup, it becomes an entirely new drink. And the reason I would use that is because liquid uh, ingredients, once they're in like another liquid mixture, you cannot separate them. This is not like, I mean, it's the same thing if you're going to like bake something once you put the ingredients together and you bake whatever you're trying to bake. I mean, you, you know, technically you wouldn't be able to separate those ingredients, but the ingredients are more solid in the sense that you can separate them. But liquid ingredients, once you mix them up together, they're an entirely new substance together. You cannot separate two liquids in one container. You just can't. And that's the general essence of a conjunction. So it's like if you take two planets and you make them like a liquid form and you mix them together into one container. Now say you were to drink that liquid of the planets, you would then all of a sudden embody the energy of the mixture of those two planets. And that's what conjunctions are doing for your chart. And you embody them through the sign that the conjunction falls into. A quick side note, this just popped into my head. I am talking about conjunctions that are in the same sign because out of sign conjunctions aren't really conjunctions. Um, sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> I used to think that they were, but the further that you go into astrology, the more you learn these little nuances and the more that you learn about aspects and how to actually read and pick up on aspects. So basically, conjunctions are symbolized by the number one because they fall into the first harmonic chart. So carrying the energy of the number one and putting them together, they become one unique form together. They create one thing together, a single expression together. So they become like a distinctive energy in your chart. And this is why conjunctions can be pretty prominent, like very prominent. I mean, all aspects are prominent in people's characters, but conjunctions are very like, you can like see them, push them. They, they express themselves pretty strongly due to what they represent you know they're they're becoming one unique thing on its own so it's come it's kind of like having like a little individual within your personality like a whole unique person in within your personality <laughs> so the challenge with conjunctions is that you cannot separate them like you just can't and the closer that they are together the stronger and the more prominent the conjunction is going to be you just cannot separate them and this is why i i don't count out of sign conjunctions because they're already separated in a way it would probably be probably be creating an entirely new minor aspect like a semi sextile or something so that's why we're not talking about out of sign conjunctions right now but the challenge is that you cannot separate them from each other and this is not always a positive thing obviously Conjunctions are not always positive. Cookbook astrology will describe it as such, but they're not. Because if you think about conjunctions to certain planets, you know, conjunctions to Pluto, 
say your sun or your moon is conjunct Pluto, that planet is never going to be able to just be what it wants to be because it's always going to be connected to Pluto. So it's going to add a very Plutonic heavy force to whatever your sun and moon are. Now, granted, this can be powerful, but it can also be kind of annoying because it's like you can never separate yourself from this thing that is connected to you. You know, it's like being chained to something. So it's kind of like, and same with like conjunctions to Saturn. Uh, I mean, Saturn's kind of a a sucky planet. <laughs> I mean, no one really wants to be conjunct to Saturn or next to Saturn. So if you have planets conjunct to Saturn, it's like they're always going to be restricted, you know? So this is why conjunctions aren't always positive because you can't separate the planets from each other. And so the planet, planets that are conjunct to each other are always going to be feeling themselves, feeling their energy and viewing themselves through the lens of the other planet. It's going to be like a mixture of it. It's like if I, like say your moon is conjunct Pluto, your emotions are always going to, regardless of where your moon sign is, it could be in a very light sign, but conjunct Pluto, it's like it's always going to, every emotion that you feel is going to be felt through a very plutonic, uh, very emotional and kind of dramatic emotional lens. Pluto in your chart is not going to feel very powerful because it's going to feel kind of chaotic because the moon is always going to be making it change and shift through these like emotional currents and stuff like that. So that's just like an example of a conjunction and how it can kind of be challenging. I mean, you could use that you could use that example for like any planets. So because of this, they become very single minded because if you think of the one, the one is its own thing. So they become very narrow minded in their scope. They only see themselves through each other. They can't look far beyond anything else in the chart. They are only interacting with each other. And this can become even more challenging if you have like a stellium, if you have three, four, five planets all conjunct, all within like 10 degrees of each other. I mean, that that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty challenging. You're always going to be feeling like a lot of things at once simultaneously because you're going to be looking through like multiple lenses simultaneously. So that that is why conjunctions are very challenging. They become very narrow in their viewpoints because all they see is the planet that is next to it. But the positive thing about conjunctions <laughs> is you could utilize energies um, from different signs and different archetypes. The So what's interesting is like it creates an entirely new expression of the archetype that it's in, of the sign that it's in. And it could take two planets, like two seemingly irreconcilable uh, qualities or archetypes that seem like they would never go together and actually make them work. Like it could actually make them blend together and create something entirely new within what the sign represents, if that makes sense. So like, I'll use me for an example. I have a uh, I have a lot of conjunctions, but I have, I'm trying to think of one that's kind of actually interesting. I have Venus conjunct Uranus in my chart. Now Venus rules Libra, so Libra and Aquarius, because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, they actually go along, but Aquarius is also square Taurus, which also is ruled by Libra. I mean, not Libra, Venus. <laughs> so when you look at it from that perspective, you would think that that, uh, and then it's in Capricorn too, which is confusing. But if you look at it from that perspective, that uh, manifestation of Venus in Taurus doesn't really go along with Uranus and Aquarius and what it represents. But when they come together, they form an entirely new expression within the sign of Capricorn that is unique on its own. So it makes it so that it's always 
creating new inventive things within what Capricorn represents. So within work, within stability, within progress, within, uh, I don't know, discipline. <laughs> like, so I feel like that is something that I'm always doing with myself. So that's just an example of what I mean by it's taking two planets that might not go together within the zodiac wheel, but it's putting them together and making them like a whole unique thing, a whole new expression of a, a drink, like if you were to drink it, of, a, of, a, of an archetype of the sign that it's in. So I hope that kind of made sense. <laughs> it's like creating like an entirely new drink that if you drink it, you're going to become like a whole new expression of the sign that you are, that the conjunction falls into. So hopefully that helps you understand conjunctions and why they can be challenging, but why also they're pretty positive. And I will see you next time.